Greetings everyone, my name is Etterville, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Alvora Tactics. During the last part, I explored the dungeon a few times and I made it past the first area of Alvora into the Graven area of sorts. And then I realized that I was under power for going against the enemies over there, those being spiders. So now I think I understand what the basic gameplay loop is. Basically, you go to a area, a new area which you've discovered, go to it a few times, killing off the enemies, getting better equipment, selling off excess gear for more money, as well as building up your character abilities, and go back and repeat the process a few times because every time you exit and re-enter that area of Alvora, it'll respawn the enemies and it'll also change up what treasures may be there due to procedural generation. And then repeat the process until you're strong enough and go deeper. Now, as I got enough gold in the previous part, I will be hiring, or I will be increasing the number of party members I can have at once. So let's do this. So now we can field members of up to five at a time. Sadly, we can't get any more uh, just yet, so we'll need to wait a little bit of while. And we can directly unlock the rogue, guardian, or sage, but I don't really find the use of that just yet. Alright, now that we've unlocked the fifth party slot, I'm gonna go to the barracks and hire someone. So now I can hire specifically a human, Scurio, Rasmin, Farim, Burlak, Wildiri, Afest, Farin, or Falpa. Now, I want this class to be the Warp Blade of sorts, so being able to poison enemies would be really useful, so I believe the class it is is the Farin. Oh no, they're the intellectual class, whoops. Um, oops, uh, let me redo this. That was my fault. Alright, let's try recruiting someone in a specific in mind. I could just repeatedly retry it, but I'd rather not do that. See, I already have a Wildiri, Afest, and Falpa. I know these are the bulky ones. This is the mage type. Actually, my six-minute party member will probably be a red mage, red, ma red wizard of sorts, so I'll have them be a Farin. So I think it's Farim, I believe. Oh no, it's this one. Hmm. Actually, let me take another look. I'm failing at this. My apologies. Well, that's one of the things about blind playthroughs. You eventually do make mistakes, so... Oh, we're missing one cla- uh, we're missing one race, it seems. That's why I can't recruit them. Hmm... Okay, change of plans. We can have a scurrier for a rapid movement, so... Well... Hmm... Alright, I'm going to repeat a class. I want someone, like, who can react faster than the rest of us. And for a warp blade, that'll be especially useful for quick reactions. So I don't want more extra defense right now. I already have our Will Deary for that. So we'll have another Scorio, just like um, Spectra was. So yeah, multiple time to uh, faster time to act. That's going to be really useful. And of course, because we have a certain amount of experience, they're trained up as well, so they have a little bit more of everything. Oh, and they start as a scholar, but. We really don't want that. We want them to be a warp blade, so... Well, actually, that may not be a bad idea, considering they start with frost, so... But eventually, we will want them to be a warrior, so... Hmm. Let's have them be a warrior just for now, and then we'll have them be a scholar eventually. And of course, thankfully, this game added the ability to change their, exp uh, their name, actually. Oh, wow, you can actually even change their name. Never mind, that solves all my complaints from earlier. I thought you wouldn't be able to change their names, either. This was Spectra's coloring, I think, this one. So let's go for a little bit more golden one. So Sorvin has joined their party. So later on, I believe we'll be able to get up to six party members based on the interface spo uh, spoiler. So Sorvin will be our warp blade of sorts. 
but he does have some magic so that's going to be useful. Though, based off the Warp Blade unlockables, if I can press the button correct, okay. Based off the Warp Blade unlockables, it seems that they will be able to use magic because they need gatekeepers. So that's going to be, it's going to be quite a while before we can, before we can, we can actually unlock the Warp Blade, but oh well. And as for, um, uh, as for uh, Philia, uh, I will try making her an Ignis Knight. I don't know how much that's going to be a defensive or offensive one, but that seems to be good. After all, two of the classes are offensive ones like Berserker and Sorcerer, and the other one, well, it's defensive, but hey. As for Willis, I'm not sure what I'll make him as a secondary class for Guardian. I'll see that. Maybe I'll make him an Archer, but... Or maybe I'll make him a Balancer of sorts, make it, maybe make him a sort of a Red Mage. Or at least I want to make him like a Paladin so he can heal up in a pinch. But we'll see about that. I'll need to see what the balancer does, so I'll probably be unlocking the hit. I'll be probably unlocking the balancer class with Veron first. As for um, let's see here, Farron. I think I'll keep her as a sage, but I'll I'll go towards the balancer eventually and see what the, goes on for that. Also with Veron, I'll see if I can get the Unmaker and Defiler working. That may be useful in the future. But it seems that no other, none of the other classes use the, the Unmaker as a well, other than Gatekeeper, it seems like the Defiler is one of the end classes, and I think that's one of the new ones. Gatekeeper was awesome, so I may make Veron a Gatekeeper as well. But Sorvin will be one as well eventually, so... Enough dilly-dallying about the... about everything else. Let's actually pay a visit to the Blacksmith, because we need some equipment, badly. And let's try selling off some excess stuff. Oh wow, we're running kind of low on space over there. I want to make him... well, he's not going to be by... well, he's going to be a warp blade of sorts, so... Maybe he needs to use swords, I'm not too sure though. We'll see in the future. Because I don't want to end up with two, just two sword users, I want to have a variety of users, so... Okay, I'll just keep giving them the hammer for now. I know it's kind of like Spectra, but hey, it's going to be useful for... It's the most damaging weapon, so might as well. Alright, let's try selling everything else then. And let's buy... Oh, that's the old stuff. Um, we want to get some iron weaponry. Let's see who needs it. We have a steel rapier for me, or Varan. Iron over there, iron there. An iron bow would be nice there. And the steel hammer is an awesome upgrade already. Actually, we don't want that. We want we want armor at this point because we really need better defenses, as you may, especially for our frontline classes. So iron mail for... Yeah, uh, Willis will get that. Unfortunately, I don't have more for that, so I'll keep it at that much. Which is unfortunate, because right now I think what I need is Iron Males for everyone. So I guess that'll be my next upgrade. As I don't see, I'll be able to get a six-party member in the near future. I just wonder how the stats will be distributed, at, or how experience will be distributed, as we have a lot more party members initially. We might want to also... Now I'll save up for more frost. Oh yeah, and also off screen I decided to go to one more mission so I can unlock counter here. So we'll unlock the counter passive, so let's put it up here. So now Willis will always counter attack if he's in a situation which, necessit which makes it necessary. So let's, un let's increase his spear damage as well. If I can get it, get to him, that is. There we go. Now he'll deal more damage with spears as well as give more accuracy. Also with Veron, I uh, because of that I can unlock the frost skill or at least improve the uh, distance. That will be certainly useful in the future. Um, because of this, I'm not going to be switching over to the sorcerer at least. 
because I really want to get the more powerful or potent spells. Farron, let's see over here. I'm going to save up for more curative spells. Getting, gaining 25% will be nice, but I really want to get more health or healing, uh, healing abilities. Guard is going to be useful, but... Hmm... Bind is also useful, but it'll take some time for using that, so... I want to upgrade charge for now, at least. Farron already went over. Willis, I also went over. In fact, I think I have almost everything I want for Willis. I just want guard for now. And then after that, I will be switching over to the guardian. Actually, for Willis, I want to get up to about 1,000 experience. Anyways, we we spent enough time here. Let's uh, let's go explore more of Alvora's insides and get some more experience. So right now, right off the bat, now we have five party members. So that's going to allow for a lot more customizability, and eventually six party members once we get an unlockable or something. Hmm. Another puzzle, it seems. Oops, that wasn't what I intended, but okay. Oh, there's an item in there which I missed. Oh well, at least I'll be able to get another try once it randomly regenerates. That's a little bit too many bot flies for me. Also, I didn't rest up in the end, so... Well, Veron has a little bit less HP than usual, but... He'll be able to survive with a tree less HP, I'm sure. Once again, more puzzles. Oh, a volatile blob. There are a lot of bo bo blobs here. Okay, nothing of use over here just yet. I believe if I had a gatekeeper, I could just warp past all of that, or a warp blade. Let's see if I can blow that up. Um, that didn't happen. Um, how do I blow this up? Oh, I see what I need to do. It'll explode this like a normal one, but I need to push it in the correct direction. Well, I find it interesting there's a little bit more emphasis on challenges, but I don't mind it. I'm wondering if I screwed up the challenge. Yeah, I think I kind of screwed it up. Oh well. I was always kind of bad at these challenges. But I suppose you're supposed to get you're supposed to go through these challenges to get extra goodies and whatnot. Oh well. Oh well. Well, I suppose I can just take the more battle-oriented route and get all the qu uh, items necessary in the future that way. That's a little bit too many I uh, enemies for now. I just want to—I want to get the blizzard ability first, so I can uh, hit a lot of more, a lot more of them at once. It seems that in this game, AOE effects are a lot more potent or useful. It seems. Ow. I'm just walking into all of these teeth. And the environments seem to be a lot more hazardous. Well, there's that thing again. I'm gonna take a little bit of risk and try going after it and see if I can defeat it. It'll give me more experience after all. So everyone should be biting up now. Or braving up. And I'll have him uh, do, the, do the honors. It's looking at me right now, anyway. So let's try fighting Ixir. Neat, we have some new music as well. 
Unfortunately, my frost range is a little bit lower, so it's going to be a little bit of a problem there. And also rearrange my spells a little bit so I can actually hit things better. I'm going to try in bombarding with the frost spells for a little bit of a while. I can't wait to get the guard ability so I can uh, more easily deal with these foes. Okay, that'll give it some, quite a bit of damage. Let's see what it does. Okay, it's going to be a toxic ability, so unfortunately, Farron's going to be hit by it. Okay, this time it remembered my settings. I was wondering what was going on. Still not, not close enough. Oh, that that's going to hurt. Of course, keep a binding of the frost is my strategy currently. Well, at least I can uh, attack it from here without any danger of getting hurt. Oh, of course, it has the itchy status too. Wonderful. Oh, wow, it can double attack me. Well, at least I can deal quite a bit of damage to it. That's not what I wanted. I'll just buy, I'll just buy it for now. Or Brave, as I, keep, as I keep mixing up the name. Of course, I'm out of mana, too. Let's see if it has any weak... Okay, it resists darkness, of course it would. Let's see which other character it kills now. Unfortunate. It's kind of unfortunate, but hey, sacrifices have to be made. I'm gonna try charging forward with my other characters. I'm gonna at least try getting enough mana for this. I think uh, she'll be able to survive, Ophelia. She has enough uh, mana or HP. Unfortunately, she'll get poisoned. But now she can just finish the job. And there we go, we've defeated the boss, although we took two casualties. Well, not really two casualties, but we took two damage. Oh, and we got our first mask as well. Oh, we'll automatically unlock the Breaker class. Oh, so Rasmin wear these. Actually, let me just check that. That'll be especially useful for some of my other characters. But that gave me a lot of experience as well, so let's see what we can get. I want to focus on ice for a change, so let's see if we can do this. Hmm. Uh, I think I'll go with lightning for a change so I can actually hit a larger region. And it, it is pretty... let me see this. It is pretty long range as well. This will be especially useful if I get to a water segment. Okay, Ophelia. I want to upgrade charge, of course, but before that, counter. Always counter. Okay, Willis. As I said, I want to upgrade my guard. I think guard would be useful if I can uh, reduce the amount of damage I take. And I'm going to do one more battle before I change my classes over to guard there. Sorvin, well, he won the battle, so that's awesome. So on his quest, let's see, he needs 800 warrior XP, so we still need to keep him there. Charging forward would be a nice ability. And on this side, well... Flame. Might as well. Farron. Let's heal for more, because we need to get better range for this. 
and more life. She's going to be our dedicated healer, so we really need more he healing on that regard, on that front. Another nice thing is that on the class icons, it'll show a star if you have an extra star, extra star to spare. Just run in circles, and let's see if we lost something. Oh yeah, we did lose some quite a bit, of, quite a bit of HP, or max HP. So off screen, I will do some uh, battles uh, with the less party members, so I can actually get my HP back. But that'll be in between part four, which is this part, and part five. Victory! Oh, we unlocked the brawler. Although we already unlocked the brawler for someone else, or we could, we can unlock it for everyone. I want to save up for that ability, of course. Ice Adept is nice. That's definitely going to... I'm going to take that in. Another hard decision. I want to get Berserker soon, so... I would like to charge a, a further, so I'll keep it there. But once I actually unlock the... But once I get the extra charge ability, I will be switching over to Brawler. Although I won't really be using it much, in the way it's intended, that is. Hmm, passives. Nothing of use just yet. Willis the Warrior, of course, I'm going to be switching him over very soon, so. More shields, because they'll all be using that. And Battle Cry, actually. That would be ne that would be a neat ability. So I'm going to be switching over to be a Guardian immediately. Sorvin, who is proving himself his wart, but I want to keep up with his abilities. First, by increasing the amount he can charge by. So I guess we're all set up in that regard. Unfortunately, it seems that a lot of our party members are getting really beaten up. I still want to do one more battle before I end off this part. And what I'll probably do is I'll do some off-screen double grinding so I can at least get my party up to snuff. And then once I start the next part, I'll apply all of my experience. As that seems to be the cycle of the game of just repeatedly going to an area a few times and then exploring it again. And, and then exploring the next area. And for some reason I can actually re-enter the base chamber from before, but I wasn't able to do it last time. Also as a demonstration, let me just go visit the training grounds. Um, how do I do this? I need to bring them a mask for some... somehow. Oh, never mind, I already gave the... Whenever I unlock it immediately, it just gives them the mask, okay. I wanna just go over there. And because of this, the brawler is now... Or the breaker, actually, is unlockable by everyone now. That's really going to be useful. Unfortunately, well, the breaker would be nice for blunt to we for like Sorvin, but I really want him to become a warp blade instead because I want uh, uh, Philia to be the Ignis Knight instead.
But Quake is a nice uh, utility, but sadly, well, that isn't to be yet. And I think Warp Blades only use swords, so that's going to be another problem. Well, as I said, I'm going to be focusing on different classes, and I used Breaker in the last, last game, so might as well just go towards something else for variety. Alright, as I said, one more battle. And Brib has been dealt with as well. Oh, and we unlocked the Guardian for him. If there's one thing I want to check out, I want to see if that boss respawned, and I want to try killing it again. Uh, no thank you. I don't want to face a party of adventurers at this point. Oh, Bone Spear. Well, it'll be equipment fodder, and, and nonetheless. And an Essence Stone. Let's see what's on the left side of this place, and then I'll end off this part. As I said, I'm going to do some level grinding so I can smooth out the process a bit. And maybe get some iron mail. So alright then, in this part I did a lot more dungeon delving and I understood more about the game mechanics. And I got my fifth party member, Sorvin, who is going to be really useful as a warp blade, hopefully. Assuming everything pans out correctly. So in the next part I'll go do some more dungeon delving and probably get through that party. And maybe get strong enough uh, during the off-screen adventures and level grinding to actually deal with most of the foes in the second area. Well then, thanks for watching, and have a nice day. Toodles!